Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a feature video for the Asus uh, Rogue series laptop. So we will be exploring uh, my Asus, link my Asus uh, software. So that is something that comes preloaded on the laptop. Or you can install the same software on your uh, Android or your iOS phones. And then you can uh, control your phone's features from the laptop itself now you cannot control everything you can control you can pick up calls you can uh, uh, answer messages view messages answer messages you can actually uh, use your phone as a second screen for the laptop also so it uses wi-fi a combination of wi-fi and bluetooth connectivity so we will be talking about that in this video so let's go ahead and see how that actually works and if it's going to be useful for you or not so uh, let's take a look at the laptop itself Okay, so let's go ahead and see what does my Asus uh, software do. So this is my Asus software uh, on the laptop. So my uh, link my Asus is the part uh, over here at the bottom. That's the main feature which actually connects to the phone. Uh, but let's take a look at this first. So it actually shows you your model number and your hardware setting. So in hardware setting, you have uh, battery health. So in this, you have this option where you can actually keep it to full capacity, balance mode or maximum lifespan mode. So in which uh, basically how a, lap, uh, how a battery works is uh, when you charge it, uh, if, if you're using the full capacity of the battery, the entire battery charges, the entire battery drains down. But if you put it to 80%, then it will only charge till 80%, it will not use the remaining 20% uh, battery. Now the battery life will go lower as in you won't get long standby time, but you will make sure that 20% of your battery remains healthy. So in the longer run, like maybe two, three years down the lane, when your battery starts degrading, at that time that 20% battery will still be new and then you can use it. So same way, uh, the maximum lifespan one actually gives you 60%. Uh, so uh, it depends on you. I have kept it on full capacity mode. Uh, but if you want uh, your battery life to be longer, you can choose any of these two. Now, let's go to the bottom. Then you have customer support and then you have diagnostic. So it, this part allows you to uh, check all the problems you have with the computer, hardware diagnostics, uh, your blue screen errors, if your system is slow or if your Wi-Fi is not connecting, you have driver errors, you have slow booting or battery problem, all that is over here. You can troubleshoot with that. You have all the checkup options here. And then you have software update. Now this is very important. Uh, my uh, rogue uh, software uh, the armory crate was not working so I got the update over here now you see I have the firmware update also available now this is the history so I did an update before drivers and tools are available so all of that is available here itself so I don't have to go to a website and then search for drivers everything is over here all the latest one will come up uh, it will do a, a check just go ahead and hit check and it will check for any drivers or any software that has to be updated and uh, you can update it directly from here. Then you have the hardware setting, uh, which is the same one, the battery capacity one, which we saw before. And then you have app deal. So you have apps available. Uh, so it's not only uh, Asus apps, you have other apps also. It's like their own app store. So you can download stuff from here. Then you have the message center where you will get all the messages sent to you uh, like any notifications of, um, not phone related uh, everything related to the software will come over here now you have link my aces so you press this and this is link my aces so now i actually have connected my uh, poco phone to this so right now it's not connected but let's go ahead and connect it let me switch on the poco phone i'll put the screen on the other side Okay, so as soon as you connect your uh, phone to the computer, this is what happens. So you get the dialer. Uh, now you have call history. I'll not press that because all my phone numbers are there. Uh, you have your contacts. So you'll see all your contacts here. You have the dialer. Then you have your notifications. If you go into notifications, you'll see all the notifications which have not been read by you. Uh, the notifications which are waiting on your phone uh, will be shown here. Then you have apps. If you press apps, it will show you all the apps which are installed. And if you press on any of the app, it will open up the app uh, on uh, th uh, the computer itself. And then you can uh, start using it. It will uh, do a screen mirroring. So we'll be doing a screen mirroring anyways. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and check screen mirroring now. So if you put on this option, then it will mirror your phone uh, over here. So your phone automatically dims down and then uh, you will see the phone screen here. So now you can control the phone from here. Uh, now it depends on how fast your uh, Wi-Fi network is. According to that, this will be fast or slow. Now let's put that off. Okay. Uh, now this is the best feature. This is why I'm not doing a uh, screen recording here. I'm showing you the phone itself. Now I have the screen extender option. I'll press this and my phone is the second screen. So now, now you can see this and I'll minimize this one. Okay. So I have a second screen here. Now, as soon as I take my mouse from here to the corner, I got the mouse on the phone. Now you see here. Now I'll take it back to the computer. Now you see it's back on the computer. So I really like this feature. Now I can actually open up maybe Google Chrome and just drag it from here and keep it here. So now I have a second screen. So that's actually a very good feature. Uh, so I can open up stuff here itself on the phone. I don't need to use uh, uh, the computer every time I can if I'm doing something on the computer and I have to go to the kitchen or go somewhere in the house I can actually switch on the extended uh, screen option and then put whatever I want to work on on the screen and then use it that way now it works with touch screen so if I press it here it actually works that way so excellent option so this is why I am showing you uh, the real picture how it actually looks like on the phone and it's actually very fast so that's how the screen extender works. Now you have more options. You have file transfer. So if I go into file transfer, I have an option of transferring file directly from here itself. If I want to send any file to the phone, I can just drag it and drop it over here and it'll go to the phone directly. Now you have options of switching on a remote access uh, or you can actually do a QR code uh, file transfer. So idly, I just switch this on and I have a direct connection. Let me just show you that. If I go here, I have file transfer option and remote file access option. So I can choose any of them. So uh, it's, it's very handy if you have a good network connection. I'm not talking about internet connection. I'm talking about network connection. So that's it for this. Now let's talk about uh, who is this for, or whether it's going to be useful for you or not, and what are the limitations. Okay, so you've seen the feature, how it actually works. So it's actually a pretty handy feature. You can uh, pick up calls from your laptop. Uh, you can actually use, so for me, most of the time I'm using a Bluetooth uh, headphone. So my Bluetooth headphone is connected to the laptop. The laptop is connected to the phone. So uh, if I get a call on the phone, the call comes directly to the laptop and from the laptop, it goes to my Bluetooth headphones. So I don't have to uh, shift from uh, the laptop to the phone and then pick up the call like that. So this actually uh, is pretty handy because nowadays Bluetooth headphones just connect to one device at a time. You cannot connect two devices anymore. So, uh, so this feature actually helps me a lot. So I actually have more than one phones connected. So I have uh, my Android phones, my um, uh, iPhone, whatever. Everything is connected to the laptop. So now it doesn't matter which phone uh, I want to use. I can pair any one of them and then get the calls and the messages and everything onto the laptop itself. And then I don't have to take my phone out. So that's something which I really liked. Now, the best feature I liked was the screen sharing ability. So I can actually use my phone as a second screen, uh, but there are some limitations. So you need to know about that. So uh, this actually works on the Wi-Fi network. So it's not using your Bluetooth. Uh, so let's talk about that first. So uh, your phone calls are using Bluetooth service. So if you are in Bluetooth range, only then will the calls come to your laptop and from your laptop, you can pick it up. Uh, Wi-Fi is used for the rest of the thing. So if you are uh, using the screen sharing ability, the contacts list and everything, all that can be done with the Wi-Fi thing, uh, with the Wi-Fi connection. The limitation is, it actually works on the Wi-Fi network. So now it all depends on the Wi-Fi network speed, not your internet speed. You may have the fastest internet in the world, but if your router is not fast enough, 
the bandwidth is not good then uh, your uh, connection sharing the your screen sharing will not work that great so you will have laggy um, things if you're trying to see something live then it won't be that good so that's something that you have to remember if you want to use that feature make sure you have good connectivity wi-fi connectivity now in case you do not have good wi-fi connectivity in your house and you want to just use it i mean the laptop is here and you want to keep the phone right next to it and then use it that way then i would suggest do uh, tethering on the phone and use it that way so that works faster because it's closer and uh, the wi-fi speed will be better so that's something that i've experimented with geo dongles wi-fi tethering house uh, routers and i've got different speeds different um, performance in all of them so you'll have to experiment with that what works for you so that's basically it. that's all for this video if you like the video please subscribe hit the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video Bye bye